Hi BCC, I'm Callie and today we are continuing in our devotional time of God's plan for our well-being and this week we are looking at emotional well-being and today is day 17 of this 50-day guide and we are going to be looking at how we are God's beloved. And I want to start us off with three foundational truths that we should remember and be encouraged by this morning. One is that God loves you. Two is that God really loves you. And three is that God really, really loves you. It's often easy for us to forget how deeply and truly we are loved by God. But it's also all around us where we can see God's love. And there are three places where we can um, find that love most often, although we can see it in everything truly. But I just want to touch on those three places where we can see the truth of God's love for us. And the first is through the word of God. We have the whole Bible and we can see the amazing, amazing love of God throughout it through scripture, through Jesus Christ, through so many incredible people and stories. And God shows us in those scriptures how loved we are. And that's such an incredible encouragement. We also can see the love of God through the Holy Spirit. As we accept Christ into our life and hopefully accept the Holy Spirit, it actually says in Romans 5, Five, that when we receive Christ, God's love is poured into our hearts through the Holy Spirit. So when we, when we say yes to Christ, when we are following with him, when we have a relationship with him, we know that that love is poured directly into our hearts, that it is in our beings. And that's such an incredible thing to remember. And the other place that we can so often see God's love is through other people. And we'll talk about this later is um, about relationship and that's coming down later in the track. But we're a relational people and when we surround ourselves with Christians and in fellowship, we see the incredible love of Christ. And we learn just how deeply and wide and how far that love of goes. So I want to encourage you today that maybe if you are feeling like you are lacking love or you just needed an encouragement that you were loved by God, you can meditate on the Bible and um, just resting with God and his spirit um, today or this morning that you know that you are truly and deeply loved by God. And I'm just going to end this with um, a prayer for each and every one of us who's, who's listening. Heavenly Father, today would you just fill me, Lord, with your presence and your spirit, an overwhelming amount of love and joy. That it settles into your bones that it changes and transforms and fills you up. Amen.